Hello everybody, welcome to a sunny but still very cold as you can probably tell by my woolly hat Wolverhampton in England. So today is a bit different, I just got back from um, Asia about a month ago now. So now it's back to business. So I thought in this vlog I'd do something a bit different and I'll show you my daily life. So if you haven't seen on my previous videos, this is my little business here. So I've got a catering trailer selling wood-fired pizza. So I've just hooked it up. I've just got my little storage unit here. So today we'll be going to a pub in a village, a few, down, few uh, villages down. And yeah, we'll be making some pizza today. So it's a nice day, the sun is shining. Like I say, it's a bit cold, but hey, perfect to get a hot pizza, eh? So yeah, here's my, uh, here's my menu. This is what we'll be serving today. So yeah, come with me as, he, as I show you my daily life. So here we have it, all locked up and ready to go. Got a clamp on the front and a clamp on the side. And here's where we'll be serving today, the Warheath Tavern in Warheath Kings Winford, just outside Wolverhampton. So we've got a pretty big car park. We've got a pretty nice uh, beer garden as well at the back. Um, I'll try and show you later, but um, I don't know how busy I'll be, so a one man show, you see. So that's the beer garden anyway. Today, I don't know if you can see at the top there, they've got a bouncy castle in the garden as well. So hopefully you're in for a busy one. So yeah, I'm gonna go home now, start preparing. I'll show you a little bit of that. And then we'll come back, set up the fire, Start cooking some food. Let's go. All right, so welcome to my home. This is my little garden. So I've got a personal kitchen and I've got a kind of like little commercial kitchen where I do all my pre preparation. So I'll show you that now. So here's my little kitchen. It's only small, but here's the dough. I've already prepared one, but we're gonna boil this up soon. I'll show you how I do that. Here's all the stock we got going on. So I've got all the cheese. Fior de latte mozzarella. The mush or vegetables, homemade sauce that I make, like a pesto ricotta, garlic sauce. Um, got all the meats in there. And then this is the flour I use here. The one and only caputo. Teapot zero zero. Then here's all my pizza boxes. Here's the um, tomatoes I use, San Marzano tomatoes, all good quality. So yeah, I'll uh, boil this up. Right, so I've cleaned down my area here, and I'm gonna start making some dough balls. So I've got this huge thing here. Like I say, I've already done one. This, um, I'll be able to make about 30 pizzas with this one. So I normally boil it up between 200 and 250 grams per ball. So, let's get it to the container. That's why you always have to oil the container so it's a bit easy to get out. I like a ball. So as you can see there, it's like a, a giant dough ball. So now I will cut it in half. out of it so I'll just measure it up see that one is just over 250 so I'll just take a little bit off there so now we've got our dough ball here 
all I want to do is roll it up, put it down, and voila, one doll ball. So I'm going to continue to do this. And then I've not got too much to do today actually because I did most of it yesterday. So all I'm going to have to do is really just make the tomato sauce for the bases. And that's about it really. Let's make one more. There you go, so you've got to make sure the back is tucked in there as well, so it's nice and smooth. So you lay it down, and then I will show you later how I roll it out into a circle and start cooking some pizzas. So yeah, see you a bit later. Alright, here we have it then. So the tomato sauce. So, like I said, San Marzano tomatoes, you can see, approved. Neapolitana. So what we're going to do is, I'll put you down because I'm going to make a mess otherwise. So, I've already made, I've already made one lot. So this is the second one. So, tipped all the tomatoes into the container. Got some nice sea salt here. You could measure this, but I've done it so many times that I just don't need to do it anymore. There we are, some nice sea salt. And then what we're going to do, we are going to slightly blend it. We're not going to blend it too much because we want some nice piece, pieces of tomato in there as well, make the sauce nice and juicy. So what I've got is one of these stick blender. So. I'm going to go on each tomato. And just blend it up like that. So yeah, as simple as that. That is my tomato sauce. Um, the reason I use these tomatoes, San Marzano, they're very sweet. So a lot of people, if they don't use these kind of tomatoes, they will have to add some kind of sugar. With these, no sugar needed, just salt, tomatoes, salt, nice and simple, very tasty, and then, you know, you have some nice little lumps of tomato in the sauce, I mean, I'm still going to have to blend this more, but you can see how there's this nice little kind of lumps of tomato, so it makes it nice and juicy. So yeah, that's my tomato sauce. So now, I'm going to relax for a bit, get ready, and then head down and light the fire so I will see you back at the Wallheave Tavern. Alright guys, here's the trailer. So it's only a small trailer but I'll give you a little show around once it's nice and cleaned up and ready to go. But first things first, before we do any cleaning or make any boxes we need to set up the fire because that takes the longest. If I'm cold, maybe hour 15 to hour and a half but because it's been used for the last few days maybe an hour or less today so what we do first is kindling down we got some fire lighters so we'll light the fire lighters hold on I'll let set you down so I can do this so we'll light the fire lighters Uh, what we do next is add the wood so what we need to do is build kind of like a little little wooden house so. wood dropping on the floor
So there we are, we've got a little wooden house going on now. So what we're gonna do is let this, let the wood warm up, let the fire start going. And then once it's got a nice flame to it, we'll push it back. Then I will slightly close the door. And that will heat the inside. And then we'll push it to one side and then push it to the other side, push to the back, ready to go. So I'm gonna have a clean down now, make some pizza boxes, and I will see you when I'm ready to start cooking. All right, so as you can see, it's heating up nicely now. I've got some nice flames going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it back. So I've got this metal contraption. I'm just going to push it back, try to kind of keep it intact when possible. It's okay if it spreads out a little bit. So as you can see, it's in the, the middle of the oven now. Well, not slightly, it's still, still kind of slightly to the to near, near us, but what I'll do now is I will close the door a bit, but I'll leave a gap so there's some air to get to it, and that will start to heat up the oven. Alright guys, so just about ready to open, as you can see the car park's filling up a bit. It's still early afternoon here, so um, not expecting many orders at the moment, so I think I might make one for yourself. For you, for me and yourselves to test it so yeah there's my menu patches open now five star hygiene of course so yeah it's nicely cleaned down fire is ready so as you can see with the oven um, when I lit the fire, it was all black. You can tell the oven's ready when the walls go all white. So the oven floor is still dirty. Because it's a wood-fired oven, we cook on the oven floor directly. So what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to clean it. So I've got um, a, a, an oven towel here. What I'll do is wet it up and then I will clean out the oven. So I'll give you that view there. And this is how we clean the oven. So put the wet oven towel over the paddle and we'll just wipe the oven floor down. As you can see, you're getting up all the dust and ash from the oven floor, ready to cook on. And that's why it's important to do it. Look at all the muck that's come off there. So, what I'll do now is I will prepare a pizza for you guys. And then give it a taste. Because you can't sell without trying it yourself, can you? So yeah. So here are the dog balls we prepared earlier, as you can see they've risen a bit since this morning. So as you see nice and puffy, see the little air pockets in it, that means we should have a nice fluffy crust. So what I'll do is I'll put a bit of flour down so it's easier to get out. And I'll get my scraper here. So. Hi there. Hiya. How are you? What time are you Um, quite late this evening, really. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we have it. One double. Ball. So I'll pop that down there, and I'll try and film now how I do it. So let me see if I get the right angle. 
There we go. So, need to make it around, which will make it a bit easier. See how nice and bubbly it's gone. That means the crust should have a nice airy crust. So we're gonna try and make it as circular as possible. And I get rid of the little extra bits of air hanging out because that would just burn in the oven. So it's pretty circular now. So now what we'll do is we will expand it, make it bigger. So there we have it, I've popped it on the board now. And now I will put the toppings on it. I'm just gonna, cause it's a tester, I'm just gonna do a simple margarita. So tomato and cheese and a bit of basil to finish. So here's the tomato sauce we prepared earlier. So you can, pop, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but some nice little chunks of sweet, juicy tomato on there. Uh, nicely. All right, add some hard cheese, some kind of Parmesan cheese, and here's the mozzarella. Traditional Italian one, they would not as put as much cheese as I do, but we're in England at the moment, and probably the same as Asia as well. We love our cheese, so nice amount of cheese on there. And then we'll just make sure that it slidey slidey. Alright, so let's cook a pizza. So fire's going, I'll put another log of wood in there to uh, let it heat up. And what we'll do is we will push that to the back to get a nice flame. Oh, it's really hot now. So this oven gets up to about between 350 and 400 degrees centigrade. Right, let's pop it in the oven then, shall we? There we go. Nice and easy. Slide it in and we'll let that cook. As you can see already, it's bubbling up nicely. Well, these pizzas do not take long at all to cook because the oven's so hot you can cook a pizza uh, within 60 to 90 seconds so as you can see the crust is browning a bit already try and keep it on the same spot so it doesn't burn underneath as you can see nicely carving underneath there. So like I say, it does not take long at all. And the crust is nice and puffy now. So I should have some nice air pockets in there. So as you can see underneath there, nicely charred. And there we have it. One margarita pizza. So I'll let that cool down. As always, you've got to add some good quality extra virgin olive oil. And some people don't like it, but I think you can't have a margarita without it. Some nice basil, basilico. So, that's the pizza. So what we'll do now is the boxes. Popeye's Pizza, Popeye's Wood Fire Pizza. So it's Popeye's Pizza LTD on the social media. So feel free to add me up on Instagram. All right, so let's 
cut it up. Use the scissors so it makes a nice even cut. pizza so as you can see from the crust there see the nice air bubble in the crust so it's extremely hot so I'll let it cool down and then I'll give it a taste test bring it outside because I, when I was in Asia I saw it all the time people were serving food and they were eating right next to it while they were serving and yeah that's that's not allowed in this country, we're not allowed to do that. So I'll just step outside for a moment and then we'll test this pizza. So yeah, nice air bubble. So I will fold it slightly. Look, you can see it underneath there. Oh, it's gonna be hot. Let's have a go. Mmm. Oh yeah, a lot of cheese. I have to say, even though it's me that's making it, great pizza, <laughs> very good pizza. A lot better than the one, one of my vlogs, I was in Malaysia and, um, is it Telangani? And I had a pizza and I gotta say, I was kind on the vlog, I didn't say it was bad because the guys were not far away. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't good. But I think it was only cost about a pound. So this, I recently had to put the prices up because the price in Europe have gone ridiculous. So this is £8.50 for a margarita pizza. But, you know, you could either keep the price cheap and skimp on quality or raise the price and keep the quality. So I think I'd rather pay a bit extra for quality all day long. So... I think it's worth £8.50 if I do say so myself. We're doing a barbecue chicken and pancetta on here. So this is the first pizza of the day, for sale anyway. Uh, yeah, hopefully many more to come. Like I say, it's still pretty early here. And uh, it's a Sunday, so in the UK, traditionally, on a Sunday, we uh, have a Sunday dinner, like a Sunday roast. So, imagine a lot of people are at home with their family right now eating that and then later on tonight they will come to the pub for a few drinks and hopefully a few pizzas so the toppings on this one are I've got uh, like a barbecue sauce that I make myself with like a chipotle barbecue sauce so it's got a bit of spice to it and a bit of sweetness cheese of course and then we have a few vegetables we can have Red onion, and we have what some people might find a bit weird, but it's quite usual now in the UK, is sweet corn. Just 
say hello to the vlog. <laughs> yeah, um, I went. I went traveling in Asia like, over the winter. Yeah. So I started making a like a vlog. You know, like my travels. Oh, okay. you know, it's not like a big channel or nothing, but I thought I'd show everyone. So I got a lot of subscribers from like, Malaysia and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So I thought I'd show everyone what I kind of. Yeah. Have you ever seen this pizza truck anywhere via pizza? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> What temperature is that run at? So the temperature of the oven runs between like 350 and 400 degrees. Yeah. So as you can see, nice little... Looks nice, yeah. Yeah. Nice little charring underneath. It's a good, uh, it's a good advertisement as well because especially when the weather's nice, like even people driving past in the cars, yeah. you know, the windows open. Like, chicken and pancetta pizza and hopefully one happy customer <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start getting busy now because it seems like the car park's filling up a lot more people here car park's nearly full actually a lot of kids in the play area enjoy the guys enjoy enjoying my pizza over there hopefully so yeah as always guys thanks for watching bit of a different vlog today normally on my travels this is like you know a day in the life of so I hope you enjoyed it 